In this first week of the course, let's take a look at differential equations, often used in mechanical, aerospace or civil engineering. Differential equations. It says here, used to model. To model what? Well, the answer to that one is just about everything. Differential equations can be used to model a tremendous amount of stuff across human endeavour, including, of course, an awful lot within engineering. Let's have a quote. You can open the well-stocked mathematical toolkit of continuous functions and differential equations, the saws and hammers of engineering and physics for the past two centuries, and the foreseeable future. A quote from Bernard Mandelbrot, best known for the Mandelbrot set. What he's saying is that differential equations are very important tools in engineering. So what can we model? Well, one thing we could perhaps model is a mass on a spring. Perhaps an improvised spring, such as the one here. So let's see what happens when this mass on the spring moves up and down. We can see our mass on the spring moving up and down. It oscillates and then over time the oscillations do seem to be decreasing. So we've got oscillations and then we've got oscillations decreasing. If we were somehow to change the properties of the spring and then try again. You can see we have the same general principle here. We have oscillations and we have decaying oscillations. However, it does seem the oscillations are that bit more rapid, a greater frequency, a slightly shorter time period, and also the oscillations are decaying away that bit more quickly. We can ask ourselves, why are there oscillations? And then why do the oscillations decay? Well, really, to answer those questions, while we can observe that those effects happen, to answer why they happen, it's all about using Newton's laws, perhaps Hooke's law as well, to set up a differential equation, and then, of course, to solve the differential equation. Let's see another quote. Differential equations won't help you much in the design of aeroplanes. Well, that seems a strange quote at the beginning of a maths course to engineers, including aerospace engineers. But this quote came from a very well-respected aeronautical engineer, Neville Shute. So why did he say that? Well, perhaps part of it is I didn't give the complete quote. Not yet, anyhow. It has to be said that this quote was written in 1923, although it wasn't released until 1962. So why did the author of this quote wait so long in fact, it was published posthumously. The answer to that question is that as well as being a very well-respected engineer, Neville Shute was an author. He wrote various books, some of which, yes, they described some of the struggles that people would have had in the aerospace industry. Struggles to get their principles recognised and yes, this is what one of the characters in one of the books was told by another character. So we did have a character, the main character in the book, trying to work on the design of aeroplanes using differential equations, encountering a bit of resistance. But let's just look back at the timescale, 1923, it's fair to say that the 
aerospace industry was it's in, in its infancy then, and it's come a tremendous way since then. It came a tremendous way between 1923 and 1962, and since 1962 it has again come a tremendous way, a tremendous way with the part with the help of differential equations. So really what we could say is differential equations are of crucial importance in aircraft design and indeed in many other areas relevant to MACE. You've seen how important differential equations are and a bit about how they're used. Let's now go ahead and see how we solve them. You've seen first order differential equations, now let's look at second order differential equations.